Hello, welcome to gns3network.com. In this video, I am going to install pfSense firewall in VMware Workstation. First, you need to download and install VMware Workstation on which we are uh, going to deploy the pfSense firewall. This is our uh, pfSense firewall. This is our end machine, uh, like uh, Windows 7 in my case. And, and this is we here uh, this is the internet where from uh, which we will connect our pfSense firewall to get the internet connectivity right so this is our internet this is our pfSense firewall and this is our Windows 7 PC right all all of these uh, devices are connected uh, using the virtual network right here we are using uh, vmnet vmnet 1 and here we are going to use vmnet 8 right by default when you install the vmware workstation you will get <coughs> a vmnet uh, virtual network adapter so we need to install one more network uh, adapter that is vmnet 1 so you can go to the start and you can open the virtual network editor You have to click on the change settings. And uh, click on the add network. That is VMNet1. Click on OK. by default dhcp is enabled on the vmnet1 you have to go ahead and uh, disable the dhcp service from this network interface right click on ok Now you need to download the pfSense firewall. You can open your favorite browser and go to the Google. Type download. Download pfSense and click on enter now you need just to download it from official website click on the first result for the simplicity i will uh, provide this link to the uh, description of this video you you need to select the amd64 architecture and you need to select the cd image and that is the iso file uh, mirror is the optional by default uh, you uh, you can use the usc mirror or you can select any one of uh, these mirrors click on the download i have already downloaded it so i'm just cancel it out next you need to extract this uh, you just need to right click on this and click on extract here Now you need to open the VMware workstation. Go to the file and click on new virtual machine. Click on next and just browse the ISO image you just downloaded. This 
uh, firewall is based on free bsd you know linux operating system click on next change the name as per your uh, preference i'm going to type p options there click on next click on next now here you just need to upgrade the ram i uh, if you have the more number of the resources i recommend to give to the 2 gb of the ram and 2 core of the cpus right and here you need to install the network adapter as per our this scenario vmnet 8 is already installed right and we have to uh, install one more network interface that is vmnet 1 click on add click on network interfaces click on finish and and this network adapter 2 will be our vmnet 1 click on close click on finish Uh, once you click on the finish it will automatically get start let's boot from the default settings enter on accept click on install pfsense you can uh, select uh, the key map i'm going to the uh, using the default key map click on ok and it will take some time to get it installed so actually it is very recommended if you give more number of the resources it will take less time in this case i'm just giving the 2 gpu frame and 2 core of the cpu that's why it, it may take some time would you like to open a cell no click on no and uh, click on uh, reboot now the pfsense -E firewall is getting booted you just uh, need to know uh, boot it uh, using the default options as well now you need to uh, map the interfaces to the lan and the van since we are selecting the uh, net interface it will give the automatic ip and from the LAN side it will uh, take the default IP that is 192.168.1.1 so let me erase this part and this part so here it will get automatic IP from vmnet 8 pool and here it will get start by default using ip that is 192.168.1.1 right and also on that interface the dhcp is already enabled right so you can go there and you can see there on the van it will take an ip that is 192.168.83.128 and on the lan part it assign 192.168.1.1 
right now we need to power on the windows 7 machine and make sure this network interface must be the vmnet 1 right so go there and edit this network interface to uh, vmnet 1 right click on ok and let's power on this machine Now this machine should get an IP address from the PFSense full. So let's open the CMD there. And type IP config. IP C O N F I G that is 192.168.1.100 that is from the pfsense pool right so let's minimize it and you can select the public network there and click on the close now open the chrome to get started with the pfsense the ip is 192.168 Uh, that is 192, 168, 1.1 click on advance and proceed to 192.168.1.1 and uh, the default credential will be uh, admin and pfsense and you can see there the welcome screen is there if you manage the firewall using a wizard you can continue but i am just going to the dashboard of the firewall that's what i am expecting and uh, i'm just pinging outside from there like i just initiate ping to the uh, public dns 88 8 8 with the minus t so i'm getting the ping response so let's check on the uh, firewall log as well go to the firewall and go to the rules you can see there our uh, from land to the van side all traffic is going and this is the default rule which is created by default uh, once you deploy the pfsense that's why our traffic is getting allowed right so uh, here you you are seeing the warning that the admin account password is default so uh, it is also recommended to change the password um, before you deploy the pfsense in the production right you can go to the system and the user manager and here you can change the password if you want that's all and this is over the dashboard where you can get you know you you have the widget and you can install any of the widget from there like i'm just enable the firewall logs so you can see there Uh, let's make the entry to 10 or 100 or click on save it should be maximum 20 so let's make this 10 only
Y con Seu, me vi. It is uh, dropping all the traffic, I guess. So, maybe the logs are not enabled on that particular policy so let's check that rule go to the settings You can see there the 192.161.100 is getting allowed. So that's it. So this is the particular session which is getting allowed and uh, you can see there the bytes and the packets are received and sent. That's for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please not forget to subscribe this channel.